Okay, you two, I'm back. This is part two to the tragic story what happened to uh, Electing Near Oscarville, Georgia. Now, uh, I'm going to continue where I left off at. So, uh, we left off here where a lady named uh, Mary Turner was uh, killed, right? And it says, uh, I'm going to read it again. And it says, according to historian Philip Dre, it says, quote, before a crowd that included women and children, Mary was, Mary was stripped, hung upside down by the ankles, soaked with gasoline, and roasted to death. In the midst of this torment, a white man opened her swollen belly with a hunting knife, and her infant, and her, and her infant or baby fell to the ground, gave a cry, and was stumped to death. Now, we're going to go here. So who, who, actually, who was actually doing this stuff? Well, who did this? The Jesuits. And they have a oath that they swear to. What they're going to do. Because they get their orders from the Pope. He says here that. I furthermore promise and declare that I will. When opportunity presents. Make and wage relentless war. Secretly or openly against all heterics. Protestants and liberals. As I am directed to do. To extirpate. And exterminate them from the face of the whole earth. And that I will spare neither age, sex, or condition. And that I will hang, waste, boil, flay, what it means beat, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heterics. Rip up the stomachs and wombs of their women and crush their infants, heads against the walls. In order to annihilate forever their excable uh, race. That when the same cannot be done openly. I will, I will secretly use the poison cup. The strangulating cord. The steel, the steel of the punar, punar or needle. Or the leading bullet. Regardless of the honor. Rank or dignity. Or authority of the person or persons. Whatever may be their condition in life either public or private, as I at any time be, may be directed to do so by any agent of the Pope or superior of the Brotherhood or the Holy Faith of the Society of Jesus. This is the Jesuit oath. So they say, he gonna, they say they're going to rip rip their stomachs open and the, uh, of the woman's womb and crush their infants' heads against the walls. We just read here, and blood the root that they cut this woman's stomach open the baby fell out right the baby fell out the woman's stomach the baby fell to the ground was crying and they stumped the baby to death ain't that a bitch in this book blood at the root blood at the root these white folks want these black folks out of here they want they want black folks exterminated okay now we're going to go here to the beginning of the book. Now, this is a book written by Jamie, Jamie, James W. Lee. Now, he's a white man. And he's telling black folks that, they, that we the Native American Indians. So, right here. The many faces of the uh, original brown skins. He says, why do we have white men assign names for African Americans, Mexican Americans, Spanish Americans, and Asian Americans? Yet, no name for Euro, Euro, Euro Americans? says the answer is to hide the true identities of the original ancient ones who populated much of the world as well as those who were the original brown skins of, of old world of uh, uh, of the old America it says why are they call quote blacks when their skin colors are different shades of brown like my skin color it's brown I ain't I, my skin color is not black I got copper it says to mask and hide the true origins of the native copperheads why did they cut off the noses and lips of Egyptian statues? To hide the true origin of the Egyptian, Egyptian people, the native brown skins. Why did they say Africa is the cradle of all civilizations? To hide the fact that, native, that the native brown skins were the original natives of, of, of the old America before it was divided up by European white conquerors into North, South, and Central America. Remember, the victors write the history. 
right? Now, uh, we're going to go here. This is, book, this is a deep book. I got some ways to go in it. I'm almost finished with it. Uh, these white folks, man, and told us they done fuck this earth up, man. They done fuck, they done fuck this place up, big time. They done did, they done committed uh, uh, genocide at all levels, at all levels. Like here, the section here called "Convert or Die," the Jesuit. Catholic ultimatum. If you didn't confess Jesus or the Catholic faith, they're gonna kill they'll kill your ass. That's what they was doing. And they still doing it. They still doing it. Now, let's go here to uh this is a this is a deep book, man. This book is deep. So we're gonna go here to the back. Right here. I'm going to read this. It's chapter 13. I haven't read this yet, so I'm going to read it. Brown skin, not out of Africa. Another huge New World Order lie. The transatlantic slave trade out of Africa. It says, Some 12.5 million Africans were taken from their homes and forced aboard the slave ships that were destined for the New World. About 10.7 million people survived the horrors of the Middle Passage between 1526 and 1866 only to end up in bondage on sugar, rice, cotton, and tobacco plantations throughout the Americas and the Caribbean. The transatlantic slave trade is the largest forced migration in history. Brown people are indigenous to the Americas. Brown native old Americans are not a result of the so-called, quote, red Indian mixing with slaves. The so-called, quote, red Indian comes from the mixing with the European colonists and the Asians that were in America before Columbus. The first Native Americans were, Margo were Mongolian Tartarians. Melville Herskovitz, uh, a European anthropologist, was one of the originators of the quote out of Africa theory. Herskovitz never had any historical, archaeological, or anthropological proof that brown people of the Americas ever derived from West and North Africa. There was native there was native Africans sent across the Atlantic, but nowhere near numbers but nowhere near the numbers of the Native Americans sent to the East. Consequently, Hoscofix crafted the theory that Browns that brown people or brown skinned people arrived in America from the trans from the transatlantic slave trade, which allegedly brought in more than ten million African slaves. According to the National Archives of Spain and Smithsonian records, there was no evidence to prove 70,000 ships with black Africans ever sailed to the Americas. Melville carried out the teachings of his mentor, mentor Frank Boas, to make the original copper-colored races of the Americas inferior and the, and the European presence superior. Before this time, Blacks coming from Africa through the transatlantic slave trade story never existed. As a result, and here are the numbers right here, right? Here are the numbers. It says, as a result, Melville's works has been fragmented and used as propaganda by writers like Harry Corlander and Alex Haley, which further perpetuated the myth of the transatlantic slave trade through the hit movie Roots. So that Roots movie was bullshit. <coughs> That Roots move is bullshit. Okay? We all fell for it. I, I fell for it. That's why I was forced in school to learn. Roots. They made like five of them motherfucking um, uh, series. Right? Okay. So. It says here that old Americans were brown people and they were not brought in on ships. Instead, they were enslaved right here, right here on their own lands. If they were brought on ships, the numbers are extremely exaggerated. It was published that 15 million to 20 million slaves arrived in the Americas between 1540 and 1850 over a 300-year period, according to U.S. history books. 
The steward synopsis points out a few questions that, that should be examined. Over a period of 300 years, it is fair to say that 60,000 slaves were transported annually to the Americas or has the transportation of, the, of slaves to the Americas being one big myth. So he goes, he's going into this stuff, right? He's talking about this stuff. He's saying, in the, saying that the translating slaves are just bullshit. Right? It's, it's bullshit. Black people, Negroes, we was already here. We was already here. Okay? Now, um, I just want you to just notice something here. So we go here, like all the gold, they got all the gold. All the gold is, is over here. They came over here and raped it. Raped all the gold, took all, stole all the land, broke all the treaties. You know what I'm saying? Cut all the goddamn trees down. The big ass, the big ass trees. Right here. Uh, you got something called the, the Indian, the Indian Removal Act. Uh, I'm gonna go here. I already talked about uh, Edward Jenner. He's a Jesuit. He he was the creator of the smallpox vaccinations. Talked about that already. Um, you have environment an environmental genocide, right? And this is them cutting cutting the trees down, right? Like here, you can see that they cutting them. They cutting the big ass trees down. The trees were standing three hundred to four hundred feet. They cut the trees down, so you know those giants. So if they cut the trees down, what you think they did to the giants? Right? See that? Number of white folks tearing this place apart. Tearing it apart. And tore this and fuck this place up, man. This is sad. They got they got all the gold, man. All of it. That's why paper money don't mean shit to them. They got all the fucking gold. They go, it goes, they go into it in this book right here, the Cherokees, how they stole the gold. But what I just read to you just a minute ago about them cutting that woman's stomach open and uh, bashing the baby's head in, that shit pissed me off so bad. Look, listen, uh, black folks, look, look, look here, you Negroes. These white folks are not your friends. Okay, they are not. They are not your friends. You don't have no goddamn friends. Okay, you don't have no friends. This is this is sad, man. This is ridiculous. Now I'm gonna um, like here it says, Indian, a noun, a general name of any native of the Indians, as a East Indian. Or West Indian, it's, it is particularly applied to any native of the American continent. How did the name Indian become the catch-all for all Native Americans? Um, like here, the Copperheads. The Copperheads in 1860. The Copperheads were also known as the Peace Peace Democrats. Were a faction of where a faction of Democrats in the Union Union who opposed the American Civil War and wanted an immediate peace settlement with the with the Confederates, Republicans started calling anti-war Democrats quote copperhead copperheads, framing them as a ven venomous snake of the species, contortrix whose common name is copper copperhead the copperheads. American, a noun, a native of America, originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the white man, the Europeans. Okay? This is not me saying, I didn't write this stuff. Right? Now, if the video cuts off, I'll come back and make a part three. 
Okay? Like here it says, it's in the book, The Cherokees, on page 31. It says, gold was found in Georgia, Georgia on Cherokee territory. Although the Cherokee has ceded most of their land in Georgia, they still retain a small portion. This discovery pushed the federal government to make some harsh decisions. After all, they had no right to that land so, so long as the Cherokee laid claim to it. The only solution they could think of was to remove them, grant them land else, elsewhere, and then exploit the land themselves. This shows the great difference between the Native American cultures and the European cultures. The Native Americans lived in respect and accordance with the land, only hunting as needed and using every morsel of the animal. Nothing went to waste. They did not drill into the land for materials or mine for gold. So you hear that Anunnaki story that Zachariah Sitchin got out to us the, the uh, Anunnaki came here to mine from gold to take it back to the planet Nibiru? That's bullshit. That's a cover story. The white man came over here and stole all the fucking gold. So he done, so he done put on a, a, a mask to hide his identity under some Anunnaki's coming here from Nibiru to mine, to mine for gold. And take it back to their planet, cause they, cause they uh ozone layer, they the ozone layer and Nibiru was fucked up. That's bullshit. They came over and stole all the fucking gold. That's why you have the Gold Coast. Came over and stole all the goddamn gold. Broke every goddamn treaty. Every every treaty, every law you can think of. This white man then tore this place up. Now excuse the uh. Excuse the um, train going by. But we are the ancient ones. And it's going to tie right into when I do that Bigfoot video. Well, I'll wait, till I, wait till I bring that video out. When I, when I bring that video, you can be like, what? Bigfoot is who? Related to who? Okay, yeah. Watch. Watch till I tell you. Uh, So, yeah. Like I said, I'm still reading this. Right? And... When you go here, uh, yeah, they going they going to the Gold Coast, all of that stuff, man. All of that stuff. It's a it's a book I highly recommend recommend you to get. It's entitled the, the Incredible Story of the Founding of the California of California by Genocide on its Native Native People by James W. Lee. By James W. Lee. Okay. They talk about the great floods, the mud floods. Uh, they had lights back in the day. Um, they had a light. They had a fucking light show. See, the, the real the real world is covered up. They covered up the real world, what they was doing back in the day. And then they gave us this watered down bullshit. They had lighting fairs, all that, all that stuff, man. Free electricity, like here. Yeah, lighting at the fair. Look at that. If they didn't have electricity back then, well, how was where's they getting any lights from? Okay. Look at this. Who built who built these uh these, these monuments? Black folks, Tartarians, Moors. Okay. The California, I haven't got to this part yet. The California gold rush mythology and things of that nature. But um I highly recommend you get this book, Blood at the Root, the Root, Blood at the Root, a racial cleansing in America. These white folks drove the black folks out, out, because they didn't, they didn't want to see black folks prosper. You know what I'm saying? Read it one more time. If the video cuts off, I'll come back and make a part three. Mary Turner was, Mary Turner was killed because she was grieving for her husband because the white folks killed him. And she threatened to swear out warrants against the man who had abducted and lynched him. Right? So they said, okay, we got some for your ass. See, when he, when YouTube, when he, when the YouTube com, uh, com, uh, committee watch my videos, they're not, they're not uh, mad because of the books that I'm reading. They're mad because the way I'm commenting, uh, uh, I'm commenting on the information I'm reading. The way I'm giving out the commentary, because it's striking it, because it's, it's eating their ass up. 
anybody can read anybody can read a book but when you put your interpretation to it and it makes sense you become threatened i mean uh you become you become a threat you become a threat right so once again mary turner was stripped hung upside down by the ankles, soaked with gasoline, and roasted to death. In the midst of this torment, a white man opened her swollen belly with a hunting knife, and her baby fell to the ground. The baby gave a cry and was stumped to death. Who, who did this? What, what group of people did this? The Jesuits, the Catholic Church, the Spanish in Inquisition. He talk about all that shit in here. The Spanish Inquisition. And I'm going to read it to you one more time. These white folks. He, in this book, he even called white folks parasites. And he's a white man. He's a European who wrote this book. He called these white people parasites. Right here. Parasites. Now. Where is it at? I'm going to, I'm going to read it to you again. The, Je the Jesuit oath. The Jesuit oath. I furthermore promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents itself or whatever, make and wage relentless war, secretly or openly against all heterics, Protestants and liberals, as I am directed to do, to extirpate, extirpate and exterminate them from the face of the whole earth. And I will spare neither age sex or condition so in this book when he cut the woman's stomach open and the baby fell out what age was the, was the baby the baby having even been born having even uh spent a uh, damn near a minute on the earth without being killed without without being killed they say I, he, he said i'm not sparing sex he said i would spare neither age sex or condition and that i will hang waste boil Beat, strangle, and bury alive those these infamous heterics. He said, "I'm going to rip up. I'm going to rip their stomachs open and the wounds of their women, and the wounds of, of their women, and crush their infants' heads against the walls." These people ain't playing. This is war. This white man ain't playing with you. If he can cut your cut cut the women's stomachs open, babies fall out and stump their ass to death. Ain't that a shit? That's a fucking demon. That's a devil. We can talk about the greys and reptiles. Look, look. I ain't never seen no grey or no reptile. And far as as far as as I'm concerned, the information that I've read and researched my own, I give the greys and reptiles a pass way before I get this white man a pass. He said he said I'm a boil. Didn't they don't they uh uh in one of my videos I show how uh, there was a, a Swiss, a German uh, chemist, and he showed how to boil black people's me uh, skin and extract the melanin out of it. Huh? This ain't no fucking game, man. This white man ain't playing with you. He wants your ass out of here. He done rewrote history, fucked up the calendar, fucked up the times. In this book, Blood at the Root, if, if you are ever going to Oscarville, Georgia, or Lake Lanier, those, the, uh, uh, at Lake Lanier, the businesses is on the water, and they done cover that shit up. And them people are still racist to this day in that, in that uh, particular area. Take your ass down into Georgia and in Oscarville, Lake Lanier. Bet you come across some white folks saying, hey, get you, hey, niggas, get y'all ass out of here. You, we don't want y'all here. Drove, drove their ass out of there. Do you see the comparison? All these white folks taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? The same same thing how they do when they was lynching us. Got thousands of white folks standing in, in the camera lynching black people. Same, same thing you see here when it comes down to uh, cutting down the big ass trees. Who do you see? The white man fucking this place up. Got all the gold, stole all the gold, all the uh, iron, all, all the precious metals. He got all that shit. 
He got all that shit. He tearing this shit up. Black folks do not take uh, cut animals' heads off and stick them on their walls for display. White people do that shit. This is sad, man. So like I said, I'm still I'm still reading this. I'm halfway finished with it. But these white folks ain't playing with you, man. The Mormons, they was in on it too. The Mormons, that 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 uh dude Joseph Smith. People trying to make Joseph Smith Joseph Smith a black man, that's bullshit. The Mormons was in on it too, taking the gold and all that shit. So with that being said, man, if you can, please support me in my GoFundMe. Let's get this, let's get these numbers up, man. We can do better than this, right? Come on now, y'all niggas, you niggas donate to Sonetta, and this motherfucker still putting on debates and shit. We passed the debates, man. We passed the debates. You niggas, this niggas still, still putting on debates. You ain't got time for no goddamn debates. Niggas out, niggas out here struggling. Shit, I'm keeping the shit real. Niggas out here struggling. This white man said, hey man, if you don't convert to my ideology and ways of thinking, we gonna, we gonna kill your ass. We gonna burn your ass at the stake. And that's what the fuck they did. And they still doing it. They still doing it. Like here. This is Mount, so-called Mount, Mount Rushmore. It says, before the president's faces were carved into Mount Rushmore, it was called the Six Grandfathers. Part of the sacred Black Hills of the of the uh, of the Lakota tribe, the U.S. government seized the land illegally, illegally in 1877, after gold had been discovered there. President Grant secretly ordered the army not to protect local tribes, as bounty hunters collected up to, as bounty hunters collected up to three hundred dollars for each Native American killed. The carving of the of the four presidents into the hills took place in, in the 1920s, funded by the Ku Klux Klan. See that? You see that? Mm mm mm. This white man ain't playing with you, man. This white man is not playing. If you want to get this book, it's entitled "The Incredible Story of the Found of the Founding." Of California by genocide on native on us native people. We are the Native Americans. I showed you in my last video how they was calling uh, black Native American Indians niggas before they were calling them Indians. It was calling them niggas. Ten little ten little Indians is is the, really the ten little niggas. So this is you. So when you see that cowboys and Indians come on the, on the uh, TV. When you see the so-called Indian, that's a white man. That's a white man. With a fucking wig on. With, with a fucked up ass tan. Trying to make himself look black. But he got a fucked up ass tan. I came I came in the house a week ago. My wife was watching TV. I said, what you watching? She said, I'm watching this Cowboys and Indians bullshit. I said, I, I asked her, I said, uh, you see the Indian? She said, what Indian? There ain't no fucking Indian. That's a fucking white man. With a fucked up tan. And a fucking wig on. And they got the Indians saying, sound, me no speak, like like they can't talk, full sentences. Trying, trying to make it seem like we dumb, don't know jack shit. That's bullshit. This white man is a fucking demon, a devil. He needs to be, his ass needs, needs to be eradicated. But I got something for his ass. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going we're gonna to get into who Bigfoot really is, who he's related to by blood. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till, wait till you see what I, what I got to bring out. Stay tuned. Peace.